Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today we're going to talk about Azure Film Filaments. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So a few months ago Azure Film got in touch with me and asked me if I'd be willing to try out some of their filaments. Azure Film is a Slovenian company run by a handful of people with quite a large selection of 3D printer filaments, I must say. Now, usually when companies reach out to me, I tend to ask for maybe a spool or two of filament just to try out the consistency. However, Azure Film went quite way and above beyond that and sent me a roll of wood PLA. They sent me a roll of PETG, two rolls of normal PLA and a roll of ABS. I've been using their filaments for quite some time now. I've had these spools for over two months and I featured some of the models in past 3D printer reviews and I showed off the filament. However, I figured I want to do a video for you guys and show you exactly what I think about this filament. Starting off with the gray and black filament, which are the PLAs. Now I have to say that they were relatively easy to print with, granted PLA usually is, but you tend to find filaments which are a bit unforgiving and show layers more than others do. However, in terms of Zorfilm, film, the PLA actually blends really nicely, as you can see. I found that the ideal temperature to print with the PLA is no more than 200 degrees at 50 millimeters a second. Obviously, if you're increasing the speed, increase the temperature. So if you're thinking of printing at about 70 or 80 millimeters a second, I'd suggest you go up to maybe 205, 207 degrees. It obviously prints very well at 200 microns. However, I find it prints exceptionally well at 100 microns, blending the layers extremely smoothly, making them pretty much invisible. Now, while the black filament is in fact black, it kind of takes an interesting tone of color when you print in vase mode, because when you put it against the light, it's not really black, it's more like a dark navy blue color and it's actually quite nice and I can see myself doing some kind of maybe a light feature and have lights coming off of it because it wouldn't be black, it's just this deep dark navy blue color. Now their PETG is actually quite interesting. While they don't have a long list of colors, they do have transparent white and black. I happen to be sent the transparent, which I used to print this enormous vase right here on the TiVo Little Monster. One particular attribute that stood out for me is the fact that it prints at a relatively low temperature of 210 to about 220 degrees. These were printed at 210 degrees at about 50 millimeters a second. And I have to say that they printed out beautifully. Stringing is almost non-existent. It pretty much prints as easily as PLA does. And for about, I think it's about 26 euro for one kilogram spool. I don't really see that as quite as expensive. Now the wood filament that I have is the pine color. It's one of the three colors that Azure Film produce. They also have the cork and the bamboo, which are two different darker shades of brown. I found that about 205 degrees is the ideal temperature for this filament and around 50 millimeters a second. Also very important to note that if you're printing with wood filaments, not just this, but any wood filament, a 0.5 millimeter nozzle is always recommended due to the fact that retractions tend to cause clogs, which is why I printed this in vase mode, as at the moment I don't have any printers with a 0.5 millimeter nozzle on them. Finally, there's ABS Plus, which is this red spool right next to me. And the difference between ABS Plus and ABS is the fact that the Plus is more rigid and more flexible at the same time, making it ideal for prototyping. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to use it yet, and mainly due to the fact that I don't have any projects in the pipeline which involve ABS Plus. However, when I do use it, I will let you guys know how it went. The other reason why I haven't also printed with it yet is the fact that I don't have a fully enclosed printer. And the reason why I feel that this needs an enclosure, uh, possibly with an air filter, is the fact that even like this sitting on the spool, it actually, um, has quite a strong smell of ABS, uh, meaning that once it's cooking or printing, I'm quite sure that that smell is amplified quite a bit. Now, I have to say that for a company that's possibly not that well-renowned, I um, 
I'm quite impressed with the range of filaments they have and especially with the prices that they offer because they're definitely on the lower end of the scale. They have very generously offered a 20% discount for you guys. It's not an affiliate link, this is simply for you guys to check out. You can find links and the code in the video description. That is it for me guys. Thank you very much for watching. I also want to thank Azure Film for giving me this possibility to uh, try their awesome filaments. I highly recommend you guys check them out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and as always, happy making guys.